here, we're here with Adrian at the Area 51 Sunday Yu-Gi-Oh. He got the uh, first place spot today. What deck were you playing? I play a Drytron. Nice. Did you have any hard matchups? Uh, the hardest matchup today was probably the last round against Curtis. He's a really good player. His zombie deck. Zombie World's really good. Right, yeah, man. Zombie World sucks. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's check it out. Uh, so for the Drytron names, I played three Alpha, three Zeta, three uh, Delta, three Gamma, and Siren Emergencies, Novas, Fafnir, and Foolish. These are all essentially just different names. It's like half your deck's 20 cards. I originally wasn't playing this many, but I'm playing over 40 because I think it's hard to side deck in this deck. So I wanted to have more. I just put more cards that kept it consistent while giving me room to side. So, yeah, so it's 20 names. Then for the Rituals, I played three Benten, one Natasha, and one Ultimus. Along with the three pre preps and one ritual spell. Uh, I consider the second of this, but because it gets crowed and it gets cosmic, but I think you just don't need it. So I just kept it to the one. I didn't, I was playing the Megalith stuff, but I cut it because I just felt like I was bricking on it sometimes. And uh, this is more than enough. And this is going second, this is like the MVP. This card takes stuff. Uh, I felt like this is all you need. I was thinking about playing the Megalith stuff, but like I said, it just seemed to break. Uh, for the defensive cards, we have the orange lights and purple light, three ash. And it called by. Um, I wasn't playing the Ash at first, but I felt after playing on Friday, I felt like I just needed more defensive stuff for when uh, you go second. So I just added them. I was considering Bell because Bell helps you play through Crow and stuff, but it's fine for now. Uh, these are the fairies you can search off of your Benton. Uh, these are really good. This grabs you more hand traps. This is an auto win. This is consistency. Uh, you have to play this because of Union Carrier. It's good. Uh, played one of this because I couldn't fit it into my extra, my side deck. So, yeah. and then one of six. For the extra deck, token. Uh, these are your two Link Ones, Link Karibo and Relinquish. This card kind of sucks. I kind of want to cut it. I just don't know what else to play right now. IP. This is so good because people don't play around it and this lets you just, you know, take anything. Uh, Union Carrier, you need it for the combo. All three of the Nightmares, you need it just to play through boards and like, you get a draw fees a lot, so let's you cycle through your deck. Uh, a lot of hands, you just make this with Vanity and it helps you keep it on the board. This is for game. Uh, you play this alongside these so that they can make Zeus. And this, uh, I wanted to try it today. I thought it was really strong. It helped me hit like, it lets, me, it lets you keep playing. A lot of the time I end up with an extra level one on the board. So you make this, grab a free card or you mill a Tritron name. And then you uh, just turn it into IP. For side, three Lancia. This is like for Dino and like evenly. All these, all those good matches. Oh, like Mirror Match, Back Row, Mirror Match, and other combo decks. This card's MVP. Like whenever oh, people have been playing Dark Ruler a lot more now, Imperm and stuff. So when they they stop your vanities or ultimates, you just flip this and they still can't play. And then more for Back Row. Cool, man. Congrats. Uh, any shout outs? Uh, shout outs to Dale, David, Gerardo. Shout out to all my boys here at Area 51. Shout out to Area 51, the best locals in the country. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. And uh, yeah, shout out to everyone I played today. Shout out to my boy Curtis right there. And uh, yeah, that's all. Cool, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, thank you.